Hey Gemini, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancerman's Tarot and welcome in here to your end of April into early May 2024 tarot reading. How are you? I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, I do want to say there will be an official May reading, so no worries there. But without further ado, guys, let's jump on into it and see what we got going on. What insight and information is popping on through here for Team Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving throughout the end of April here into early May. This will be about covering the next three weeks or so, if you will, so the first two weeks of May. Uh, but what's going on here for gems? Moving on in throughout this time frame, baby. Taking a look here at the overall energy of the reading, what do we have? And we have here the Devil coming into play. You could be connecting with a Capricorn, possibly. Devil card coming up, though, is usually a card that represents that maybe you feel stuck in a situation. You could feel tied down into something that you're not feeling is having a positive impact. Um, it definitely could be a lot of things. So we'll get a little bit of context clues to this card as we continue. But I do feel here so far for many Geminis, you are in a space where you're feeling a little bit stuck in this time period. Let's go ahead and see why. Let's get a clarifier before we go ahead and progress. So why do we have the devil showing up here as the overall energy for Gemini's? What's going on here with the gems? And we have here a hangman. So pretty much reiterating the same thing, feeling stuck and trapped in a situation. But why? <laughs> as my tarot cards here are messing with me. Six of pentacles here, two of cups here. Wow. Okay, so we're dealing with an interesting situation. There isn't an answer as to why you feel stuck, especially when you're dealing with something that you feel is relatively good. Two of Cups here, Six of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like you're in a relationship that it feels like the perfect relationship, right? It's the perfect relationship on paper, but why do I feel stuck? Why do I feel not happy here? I have the perfect job. Why do I feel not happy here? I have the perfect house. Why do I not feel happy here? Something is missing. That is the frustrating part of it all when you can't piece together what it is that's missing. Right, guys? I've been there before. It's not fun, and I know what you're going through for sure, but inevitably you figure it out. So keep a positive head on. You know, you'll figure out what's missing there. But that's the gist of it so far. I shouldn't feel trapped. I shouldn't feel constricted, but I do. Maybe you have the greatest relationship with the greatest guy. You know, I'm with Benny, you know, and Benny's great. But for some reason, I just can't put my finger on it. I feel stuck, you know? I fucking love having my fashion job, but there's something about it, man, that just... I don't feel as passionate about it anymore, even though it's perfect on paper. So this is the kind of energy I'm seeing you dealing with here so far. Let's go ahead and have a look here and see where your focus has been. So where's Gemini's main focus been? And where will it be? Moving into the next three weeks. We have here the Seven of Wands. So your main focus is, is why do I feel so restricted? Okay. You're trying to unpack that. You're trying to unravel that. How are you navigating through this focus? How is Gemini essentially figuring out why they feel so restricted? What are they doing to basically figure this out? We have here the King of Cups. We have here the Knight of Wands. And we also have here the Page of Wands coming out too. King of Cups showing up says, I need to check in with myself emotionally. So I need to pay attention to my emotions, right? This is you saying, even though something is amazing and I should feel really happy and content, I don't. So I need to look into why I feel this way emotionally. So you're going to first and foremost over the next three weeks, really check in with yourself emotionally. How am I feeling? What is it exactly I'm feeling, right? So let's go ahead and kind of identify that data first. Next, we have here the Knight of Wands. Am I looking for something new because I feel like I've just been caught in too much of a routine? Is it that I want something different temporarily or am I looking for something different permanently, right? So there's a lot of questions you have to kind of answer first to get the big picture answer, if you will, right? So I have something amazing in front of me, but I'm not feeling connected to it. So I need to go through the list. First and foremost, what do I feel emotionally? Let's identify that. Secondly, am I looking for a new experience and excitement? Okay, does that excitement need to be something new? Or is it that I need to spice things up with what it is I currently have, right? So there's a lot of questions that have to be answered that I feel like you're going to be going through here over the next few weeks. Page of Wands showing up here. Page of Wands typically means like I am looking for more excitement in my life. Going back to the example again, maybe you and Benny have a great relationship, but at the end of the day, maybe there's a lack of excitement there. Maybe it's become too comfortable. Maybe it's become the same shit different day. Maybe 
it's not that you need a new relationship, but maybe what's missing is the spice, the fire, right? And we got to reconnect that somehow. We got to do something different. And that's okay. Happens all the time in relationships. It's happened in many of my relationships, right? And all you got to do is, is focus on, all right, spark might have been gone. Maybe we're both caught up with work too much. Maybe we're both caught up with life too much. But let's go ahead and focus on reigniting that fucking flame and doing what we can here to spice it up a bit. Now, if you feel like there's no way this can get spiced, maybe look into different options of reconnecting into different areas or with different people, but take the time here first and foremost to identify how do I actually feel? I'm going to be a massive help here for you, team Gemini. So that's the gist of what's going on. I got something perfect in front of me. I just can't connect to it. I don't know why. All right, let's see what good things are happening for you in the next three week period, and then we'll get a little bit more into this main situation. So, what are some of the good things happening here for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus over the next three weeks? What are the good things coming up? First card out, Ten of Cups. Love it. Looking at the next card to pair with that Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands. So, as disconnected, right, as you may feel from something that's right in front of you, the good thing is that you still know you have something good, right? So that's a good thing here to see so far. Moving along here forward, what other good stuff is showing up for Geminis? We have here the Emperor, and we have here the Ten of Pentacles. Great. So I feel like what's going to happen here over the next three-week period is that you're going to figure out how to build stability again, how to find enjoyment, how to find peace, how to find connection to whatever's been missing. So as I mentioned to you in the beginning of the video, many of you here felt like some something was missing, you're going to find that missing puzzle piece. That is the confirmation coming in here. So that's great news to see as well. Lastly, is there any other good stuff here Gemini needs to be aware about during the next three month or sorry, next three week period? Is there anything else Gemini needs to be aware about? We have here the Empress card, love that. And we also got here the Eight of Swords. You're going to be getting out of your head, guys, and you're going to be finding growth. So this situation that's been stagnant, right? Hangman card, devil card, is going to start getting moving. What you feel like has been missing is going to start to no longer feel that way. You're going to grow. You're going to move forward. You're going to get back into a better space. So I don't feel like this is about necessarily needing to jump into something new or be with someone new or anything like that. I just think that when you're doing something the same way, getting the same results time after time after time again, it's going to become routine. It's going to become boring. It's going to become unfulfilling, right? But when you spice things up a bit, that's where we can reignite the flame. So your three-week period here, I feel, is about reigniting some sort of flame and passion. And it could be romantically, could be within friendships, it could be within your personal path and your career, however the hell it applies to you, you know? But I see here that you are indeed figuring it out. You just need to do a bit of soul searching, right? You got to go through the list. Let me identify. King of Cups, how do I feel? Is it that I'm not in love with this person anymore or is it that I'm not in love with how distant we are, right? Is it that I'm not in love with this job anymore or am I not in love with the lack of work-life balance? There's always a way to find the missing puzzle piece. You just have to identify first what it is you're actually feeling. So please do take the time to do that, guys. You know, um, give me one second, everybody. Sorry about this, y'all. I'm going to cut and then we'll get back to Sorry it. Sorry about that, Gemini. Anyhow, though, as I was saying, pretty much going through the list, you're going to figure out exactly how you're going to find that missing puzzle piece. And essentially, in this three-week period, you're solving that mystery. So things are definitely looking a heck of a lot better. Now, moving along here forward, let's see if there's any sort of challenge coming into play for you. So is there any challenge showing up here for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout the end of April here into early May. What do we have? Seven of Pentacles, right? Where your investments lie. Now, what is going to be the best plan of action for growth? How am I going to take this relationship from stagnant to lots of passion and love again? How am I going to take this job from it is literally consuming my life to, you know what? I enjoy the work I do and I have a great work-life balance. So the struggle here, or the challenge here, if you will, is finding that balance, finding the right kind of investment that's going to work best for you. But it's not going to be something you cannot do, because keep in mind, anytime I have a challenge show up in my readings, it essentially is a challenge you're going to overcome. So, Geminis, you'll be figuring that out here in this three-week period, which I'm really happy here to announce for you guys, too. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything potentially you may want to avoid during this time frame. So, is there anything Geminis might, might excuse me, want to avoid during the remainder here of April into early May? Is there anything they may want to avoid? We have here the Queen of Swords, and we have here the Death card. Definitely feel like try to avoid changing things too quickly or making any sort of impulse changes. Remember how I brought up the relationship with Benny? 
Okay. <laughs> I keep using that example. I know, but maybe it's not that you need to break up with Benny. Once again, maybe it's that you need to spice things up. You know, if you were to just quickly say, okay, I feel stuck here and trapped, even though this relationship's perfect on paper, I just can't do this. I can't do this feeling anymore. Let's break up. If you went to that, you know, it does feel to me like ultimately it would be something you would regret because maybe there was something else you could have did instead. Right. You know, so I feel like if you make any sort of impulse decisions to end what it is you're doing, chances are you'll probably regret it, Gemini, like even walking away from a job, like it doesn't mean you don't love it any less, but there's something there that's making you feel off, right? Like if you're working way too much and not having enough time for yourself, of course, you're not going to be enjoying that job. It doesn't mean you hate the job. It just means you're not liking the lack of balance, if you will, you know? So I think first and foremost, if there's anything you want to avoid, avoid endings at this time. I wouldn't end anything. I would just change up the way you're doing it, right? And that's pretty much the whole focal point of the read. Uh, taking a look here on if there's anything else you may want to avoid during this time frame. Anything else coming up here for Gemini? We have here a Ten of Wands, and we have here a Three of Swords. I think for some of you, you're feeling like, okay, I've been feeling stuck for so long, and not only is this painful to me, not only does this suck and does this hurt, but like maybe some of you are starting to feel like there's no hope left. Like... I don't know if I can do this anymore. It feels hopeless. Like, try not to hold on to that feeling, too. I feel like avoiding the feeling of hopelessness is going to be incredibly beneficial for you because, Gemini, you're far from it, you know? Sometimes when we're in the thick of it, it seems so hard to find an answer. But when you take a step back, you can figure it out, you know? Have you ever, you know, walked away from something and then, like, a year later or a couple months later, you're like, man, if only I would have did this, you know? Like, you always tend to get the answers when you have time away from what you're experiencing. So I don't think permanently putting yourself in a position thinking things are never going to change is going to be helpful for you. Of course things can change, and of course you can change them. You have the power to do so. But it's not going to be about ending it all. Sometimes it's going to have to be about taking a step back to really see the bigger picture. You know, what I would recommend for a lot of Geminis, especially for those of you dealing with relationships or even work, uh, there's, there is something missing, you know? It could be passion. It could be balance, whatever the case may be. But take a step back a little bit from it. See how you feel without it for a couple days or without your person for a couple days, you know? Take some space. Don't need to end anything. Just take some space. How do you feel? Do you miss it? Do you see the bigger picture? Do you see what's missing now that you're far away from it a little bit? You know, don't hesitate to do that. Don't hesitate to take a break because that, in the end, is what's going to benefit you. Completely walking away from something and regretting it later might not be within your best interest, you know? So I feel like try not to feel hopeless, guys. There is an answer here that will come to you very clearly, but it is going to require you to have to go from within over the next three weeks, okay? And you have to set aside time to be able to do that so you can really figure out how you're truly feeling, what it is you feel is truly missing, and the best next course of action you can take to find that fulfillment again now there will be for some gemini's maybe right maybe for some of you you'll feel like you know what aunt i'm looking through my feelings and the truth is is my heart's not in this anymore like i said even if that's the case give it a little more time to see how you feel if you take a little more time to see how you feel and that same feeling is still coming up you're more than welcome to walk away from whatever it is you're dealing with however though i feel like for the many of you that are watching Chances are, he just needed space. It's not that you really are trapped or stuck, but of course you feel that way when there hasn't been any change to how you're approaching your situation, you know? So if we can change the approach, then we can change the outcome, right? For sure, for sure. So I don't want you guys to feel hopeless because this is very much so a situation you can improve. You are not going to be tied and bound to these circumstances, but you have to not limit yourself mentally thinking that you're tied and bound to these circumstances. You have to open up your mind and know that this can change for the better. All right, guys, moving forward. Is there anything lastly that Gemini may want to avoid throughout the remainder of these three weeks? We have here the King of Wands and we have here the Star card. Okay, this is an interesting message. Not all of you will resonate with this. Some of you may not like this, but I'm here to tell you that not everything is a sign from the universe. I've seen a lot of people sometimes where they go through something and they're like, maybe this is God's way of telling me, like, I shouldn't be here, you know, or I shouldn't be in this relationship, or I shouldn't have this job, or I shouldn't have this friend. And I'm here to tell Gemini, like, sometimes shit happens and it has nothing to do with your path and it has nothing to do with the universe or any of that. Sometimes shit just happens. I think that if you want to avoid anything, don't 
best thing you can avoid right now is don't look at everything as a sign because not everything always is a sign of anything sometimes shit just happens once again like i know certain people in my life where anything happens they stub their toe they're like maybe this is a sign that i just shouldn't be in this relationship anymore and i'm like whoa dude you stubbed your fucking toe shit happens you weren't paying attention you know so interesting message i don't know if it's gonna fit with you honestly this reading has had tons of different messages so take whatever the hell resonates right uh take it for what it is but really watch out for getting caught in that kind of mentality because it can be a damaging mentality sometimes you know for example oh my god i missed uh you know i missed this person's call or you know i missed work today like i should take this as a reason or as a sign that the universe is saying i should give up and quit like no you know, sometimes once again, shit just happens. So I would try to avoid that kind of mentality. I feel like it can be more harmful sometimes than helpful. So take that, of course, if that resonates too. All right. All right, Gemini, this has been a pretty interesting read so far. We're going to get into your overall outcome in a second. But just to reiterate, you know, we, we came into this reading and I seen that you guys felt stuck. And the part about it that's so odd is that it's like never in a million years did I think that I would have something so amazing in front of me, but then not feel connected to it right and it could be anything but whatever it is there is something here that's missing that key of fulfillment for you and i think for the majority of you what it really is once again is just maybe you've lost the connection because you've been doing things the same way you know if it's a relationship maybe you and your person got too comfy and there's less date nights going on and there's less passion and it's like let's spice it up a little bit let's go out on a date let's go do something that is out of the norm right and kind of rekindle that excitement again if excitement is what you feel is missing same thing when it comes to work oh my god i'm working too much hours like i can't stand this job right now it's not that you probably can't stand the job but you can't stand the disruption of work-life balance you need work-life balance so figure out a way that we can start to maybe work a little less and incorporate more time within the home more time for the family more time for the friends there's always a way to make it happen when there's a will there's a way so overall i see you guys figuring it out and that's what made me the happiest okay i'm not sure exactly how you're figuring it out but i see it happening for you you're probably going to be going through the steps like i said right got here the king of cups excuse me take the time to identify how you actually feel identify what's actually missing if you made any sort of decisions right now, would walking away be temporary or would you want it to be a permanent decision? And chances are for many of you, it would only feel temporary because you may want to come back if you actually walked away from something. That's why I said in regards to what to avoid, probably avoid walking away from whatever you have in front of you right now because I think that you care about what you have in front of you, but chances are something just needs to change. Something needs to be tweaked a little bit, and uh, that's just going to be that, okay? So let's see the outcome. What's going to be the outcome here? Gemini, talk to me, baby. What do we got as the overall outcome for Team Gemini throughout the end of April here into early May? And we have here the star coming out yet again. This uh, tarot deck does have duplicates. So star card showing up here says, Gemini, right now, where you are is exactly where you need to be. It just needs a little bit of a tweak and a little bit of a change. I don't feel like your path is needing to be switched up and that there needs to be a new person in the mix or a new job in the mix or that we need to walk away from something to go to something else. I don't feel like that's the case for you. I just think that right now you're exactly where you need to be. And at the end of the day, the best thing you can do is, is focus on what's missing and bring in what you feel like you need in order for something to thrive going forward. Okay, this is the time to tweak the formula to get the better result. And if we keep on doing the same thing the same way, we're just going to continue to feel stuck. So let's tweak what we're doing. And um, you're going to see a totally different side of your situation. Remember, guys, like I said to you, your circumstances most certainly can improve. This is not a time right now to say I'm hopeless or this is never going to change. This can change. But you got to be willing to have a completely different formula of how you're going about things in order to see that change happen. Okay? All right, Geminis, I love you. I hope this all made sense. <laughs> Maybe some of you are watching this. You're like, Ant, I don't get what the hell you're saying. If that's the case, I truly apologize. Mercury's still in retrograde, so I'm trying my best in my communication. But if it's a story that helps out here for you, I'm happy to resonate with you. If it's not your story, no worries. Uh, but nonetheless, Gemini, I will catch you all in your official May reading. Have a lovely day, guys. Enjoy your time, and I'll see you all in the next one. Much love, take care, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.